it's a rescue mission movie. It's simply about the, these friends who love each other, who are willing to sacrifice themselves for each other, will do anything to break into essentially Wicked, where where Mino is being held, and uh, and rescue him and get him back. And of course, the movie's going to evolve and expand beyond that as Thomas is kind of you know wrestles with new questions and new kind of you know um, new kind of ideas and perspectives. We meet basically all of our characters in this one kind of set piece and kind of see the role they all have to play. We wanted to kind of get that sense across that they are a, a tight knit team that we're going to have to, you know, you know, go up against this Goliath of Wicked and their, their, their security forces and all that stuff. So, you know, that was our first little kind of introduction to what they're capable of now um, having left them on the previous movie where they've basically spent most of their, their time since the, the Glade running away dodging obstacles, sliding under doors, whatever it is. But this time it's about coming, going back and bringing the fight to them. And they're not going to win over with, uh, you know, with, with might, with, with numbers. They're going to win through, you know, cleverness and, you know, and their wit, you know, so, and their kind of courage, I guess. So we want to kind of demonstrate that really up front on a really cool kind of fun action way. The world's falling apart. This virus is kind of wiping out humanity. Um, civilization is crumbling, but there are pockets assumingly in, in the rest of the world um, that are surviving, are trying to survive. And so we thought it was really cool that the place where Wicked is, where they have, you know, the world's kind of resources at their disposal, they could build the, the gigantic protective wall that looks very similar to the mazes that we saw in the first one. The character of Teresa, who Kaya plays, she's always been, for me, probably the most interesting story arc of the movies. Um, She's always the, char the, the character that kind of, you know, has redemption, basically, to have. I mean, that's, that's, that's really powerful stuff, if you can earn it. Um, and so, yeah, there's something strong about a character who's willing to think about the greater good, um, even if it means sort of, you know, um, hurting the ones you love, which is, you know, that's not an easy thing to do. Not everyone would make that choice, by the way. I couldn't be luckier without this cast, with this cast. I mean, it's like, they're just perfect. You know, they're, they're this little, wonderful little family unit even off camera, they're, they're, they're friends to this day. And that chemistry, it shows up on screen. He believes, I think, in the very beginning of the movie that, um, that Wicked is evil and that uh, there, will, there is no cure in the world and, uh, and that all, all he's really focused on is reuniting his family and, and setting off to uh, greener pastures somewhere where he can be left alone. And of course, as he sets off to go find his friend, he's, that, those ideas are going to be challenged completely and, and, and possibly even changed. And Teresa is a big part of that. Newt was the second character he ever met in, in the first movie. He was the first person he bonded with. Newt was the guy that kind of showed him the ropes around the world of the Glade. So they've always been this really great pair to each other, where while Dylan, is, or the Thomas character, is, is kind of headstrong and brave and courageous, and, um, and, and is always kind of jumping forward whenever is needed. Newt is the character who is thoughtful and thinks things through first and um, is the quiet leader behind the scenes, essentially. You know, he, we always kind of described it as kind of, you know, he was the second in command on the, on the Glade. He was kind of the mother of the group, essentially. He's always taking care of him, making sure everything was done properly. Um, whereas as Thomas has always been a little reckless, essentially. And so the two characters kind of, um, work really well together. And, and so in, the, in, this, in this third movie, when they've kind of teamed up now to go rescue their friend Minho, um, they make a great fighting pair together. I do see it in my head, usually. You know, usually I can see, I can feel the emotion and I can see the, the shot or the picture. Um, and so that served me well when I just, exp I walk people through that and suddenly th that seems to work to understand how they contribute their, their end. You've got hundreds of people uh, hundreds of artists and, and craftsmen, actors and painters and, you know, set designers and, you know, a DP and all these different people that come in that contribute creatively to a project. And it's just really my job just keep steering that to push it towards that spot that you're aiming toward. I want to do the fans justice. I, I, I think um, first and foremost, they, they're the reason we have this franchise. Um, you know, they, they showed up to that first movie and got people excited about that first movie. And, um, you know, and of course, honoring sort of James's books. Um, so I, I hope in that we've done, done it justice, essentially, this idea of this movie being the biggest of the three, of course, it's huge. It's a lot of it.
epic kind of action and adventure. I think the movie fans will be happy. If they like the first two movies, they're going to love this movie. It's probably the best one, probably. It has the emotion and the personal kind of stakes of the first movie, um, and it has the scope and scale of the second movie, all wrapped up into this third one where the story finally comes to an end. We get all the answers we've been looking for. We wrap up all the storylines and the different different character threads between the, 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 all the different characters in the movies. So I'm hoping that the movie fans will, will be happy with how we end this series. It's been a really fun ride. I'm really thankful for the opportunity. And, um, you know, we'll see what the future holds. <laughs> There's occasionally these, these, these opportunities you have where you work with people that uh, kind of, you know, uh, become a part of your lives in a way that uh, uh, is special, you know, it's cool.